for Swindon won 3 1 at Tramnir tonight to go top of the table on goal difference. This uh, Paolo Di Canio, of course, has stepped away from the club. So, this is the first game without Paolo Di Canio. His assistant, Fabrizio Picaretta, was in charge tonight and has just uh, given this uh, remarkable interview. This game uh, is uh, this achievement is a uh, Paolo Di Canio achievement. Nobody else, nor the club, no, no, nobody else. Only the, the Paolo, our uh, the staff, and the players. Uh, that has been uh, amazing. And uh, I take the, the, this occasion to uh, to tell that as a staff, as a technical staff, myself, uh, the fitness coach, uh, the goalkeeper coach, and the physio. Uh, tomorrow morning we uh, we resign because we. We are here thanks to Paolo, and uh, we don't uh, want to stay here uh, one minute more than him. Only for today, because uh, it was crucial to be here for the players. But uh, since tomorrow morning, we are not uh, no, uh, anymore uh, Swindon Town uh, staff. And uh, I don't know what's going on in the future, but uh, I, I can only f say thank you to the, the fans. Uh, and. Uh, Paolo will have the occasion to do the same. It uh, has been a, a, a strange but a fantastic uh, year so far. And uh, I can say that uh, Paolo Di Cani and his staff uh, leave uh, Swindon Town top of the league in League One. That is a fantastic achievement that uh, nobody could expect, uh, uh, I think, since the beginning. Let's just clarify that then, the Swindon assistant Fabrizio Picoretta has said that he and his entire backroom staff will walk out of the club effectively immediately, he said tomorrow morning, but effectively tonight he's suggesting is the last uh, contact that they'll have with the club for now. He thanks the staff saying it's been a successful but strange year and dedicated that win tonight by taking top of League One to Paolo uh, De Canio, so real uncertainty at Swindon tonight and we'll uh, bring you more on uh, this story as we have it. The next half an hour.